good morning ladies and gentlemen in to today's video lecture we will be talking about the size limits of bacterial cell uh, let's first begin it uh, with the more common bacteria that we already know uh, that is the the e coli first let us know the sizes of these bacteria e coli bacillus um, maybe pseudomonas And let us take also the Staphylococci, Staphylococcus. Okay. Most of us are aware of these common bacteria. And let us first have a knowledge about the size range. E. coli is a, a rod separate bacteria. Uh, its size might range from 1 micrometer diameter to 3 to 5 mic micrometer length. Uh, bacillus is also a rod separate bacterium, maybe a little bigger than the E. coli or of the same size also. Its size is also 1 micrometer into maybe 5 to 10 micrometer. Pseudomonas, they are also rod separate bacteria like E. coli. Their size also ranges from 1 micrometer to maybe 5 or maybe 6 micrometer or so. Staphylococcus, on the other hand, is a spherical bacterium and its size ranges, its diameter is merely 1 micrometer. So, common bacteria of, of these types. Uh, like the, uh, the other, others are also there, the alkaligenes, the rhizobacter, uh, the rhizobia and um, agrobacterium tumefaciens. The names that you know, they are commonly of this range of sizes, but uh, the lower limit goes much below this size of bacterium. The uh, bacteria are filtered out using a filter size mesh size of 0.22 micrometer. This size has been considered because most of the bacteria will be filtered out at this with this filter, even the the smallest one that we know, that is the mycoplasma. Mycoplasma genitalium. This is the smallest bacteria free living bacteria that are that can grow in the culture and its size is about 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 micrometer that is 300 to 500 nanometer so it will also get stuck into this filter and but uh, uh, today we know even lesser than this size of bacterium and that on the basis of the metagenomic study the bacteria is known as pelagibacter ubic As the name suggests, this bacterium is ubiquitous, uh, but it is uh, it is one of the most predominant bacteria in in marine environment in in ocean. And it um, the people are saying that the biomass of this bacterium is so large that it can even cross the total biomass of all the feces present in the ocean. The bacteria is of the size of 0.12 micrometer to 0.2 micrometer in diameter and 0.37 to 0.89 micrometer in length. So it is a very tiny rod shaped bacterium. It has been also known as SAR11 since it was discovered from Sargosa C by the well very famous scientist Craig Venter by his uh, metagenomic studies um, during 2000, 2001, during that period. So this bacterium will possibly pass through this filter unit as its size says, but this is uh, unfortunately till now it is pre-living but viable but not culturable organism. We don't know the media composition in which this bacteria will grow. We only know it from its genome sequence. 
So this is the low, uh, smallest bacterium known till date. And uh, if you talk about the uh, bacteria that grow in the culture, Mycoplasma genitalium is the example for that. But if you talk about the total number of genes that are required for a cell to become a cell, you can give the example of Mycoplasma genitalium because it contains about merely about 525 genes and uh, of which only 476 are for protein coding genes and rest are for RNA coding genes. So this is the lower limit possibly uh, set by the in silico researchers also that uh, design cells in the computer that how many minimum number of genes uh, are required for a cell to qualify as a cell. Uh, possibly this is uh, the limit somewhere lies nearer to this 476 or maybe a little less than that maybe 450 or so. So below that a cell cannot be a cell it will lose its uh, functioning independent uh, uh, it, it cannot survive independently and it will become a virus. Pelagibacterium, though it is the smallest one, the, its size, its uh, genome, its gene uh, number of genes is about 12, 1240, which is quite larger. As far as the number of genes of E. coli is concerned, it is about 4000 genes. You can imagine such a small bacteria like E. coli that has about 4000, sorry, 4000 genes, and human being, which is so, such a complex organism, has merely about 20 to 22,000 genes. This is the paradox that has been talked about in some other lectures. Anyway, let's see the upper limit of uh, bacterial size that can be, that are present in, that are known today. The upper limit, uh, the largest bacterium that is known is uh, Thiomargarita. Namibiensis. This bacterium uh, was isolated from the marine sediments of uh, coastal region of uh, Namibia. So it's a soil bacterium. It's a chemolithotroph, and it chemolithotropic bacteria, it depends on the iron sulfide, so it's a sulfur depositing bacteria, it's a sulfur oxidizing chemolithotrops. The size is about, it ranges from uh, 200 to 600 micrometer. And it's a spherical bacterium like this, but it remains in chain possibly um, uh, in, in, in a slimy sheath. Many such cells are embedded in slimy sheath like this forming a filament like structure but the size is so large that they, they have to, the, the most of the place in the cell is 98 percent of the cell is actually vacuole and the rest of the cell that the fine uh, cytoplasm present uh, is mostly deposited with sulfur granules. Uh, these are sulfur granules and also there are a large number of genomes present there. It is uh, the genomes number is multiple. This is because the, the size of the cell is so large because uh, it is difficult to handle the total cell with a single chromosome. That's why it is like this. This is Tha Margarita Namibiensis. And uh, before this, the, the another bacterium that was discovered, this was discovered sometime during two, year 2000. And before that, just before that, a longest bacterium that was just, that had been known was known as Apilopecium. Pichel Sony. It was uh, discovered by Montgomery uh, Fischelson in 1985 for the first time, but it, the, it was properly named. It was, initially, it was said to be a protist because of its large size, but later it was discovered to, uh, to be a bacterium in 1993 after its uh, 16S RDNA sequence analysis. So, Epilopecium is a very long cigar-separate bacteria. 
its size is uh, uh, from 100 micrometer to 750 micrometer However, more commonly they are of the range of 200 to 500 micrometer but they can uh, be of this size also the this bacterial size is so big that if you compare a uh, paramecium with this the paramecium will look like of this size and rbc cell will also look like of this size so it is very very large cell in terms of length this is this is large uh, longest in terms of volume the bacterium the most largest bacteria is the Tha margarita namibiensis so um, it, the, these two bacteria even cross the limit of the some of the eukaryotic cells the smallest eukaryotic cells uh, now this uh, as far as this apulopecium physician is concerned let me finish it up uh, that this bacterium was isolated from the intestine of uh, of a surgeon piece which is uh, the scientific name of which is acanthurus acanthurus nigro puscus from this uh, fish in the intestine of this fish this bacterium was isolated so it is an infectious bacteria that causes infection in the in the young juvenile fishes uh, through the defecation product of the of the older adult fish so if you talk about the smallest size of uh, um, eukaryotic cell there is an eukaryotic cell which is of the size of the bacterium that is known as uh, uh, the name of the bacterium is nan, nan, nan name of the eukaryotic cell is nanochloram it is an alga nanochloram eukaryotum this is an uh, eukaryotic cell which uh, the size of which is about one micrometer diameter so um, you can imagine it, this is this is a eukaryotic cell which is of the size of a bacterium having all the cell organelles like nucleus uh, mitochondria chloroplasts etc because in alga it would also contain chloroplasts but these are the prokaryotic cells that lack all of the cell organelles and um, only naked DNA is present and the range uh, the size may range from uh, starting from 0.12 micrometer of the size of the pelagibacteriobic to the size of 750 micrometer of the epilopecium or or of the size of 600 micrometer diameter of the Tharma margarita namibiensis uh, thank you for thank you very much uh, for your silent listening uh, if you like this video lecture, you share this and also subscribe for its popularity. Thank you.